How's it going guys? Today we got the reservoir to finish up the hydro. So we're going to get this knocked out and then we're going to go drifting in a secret little spot. So stick around. Okay, one negative to this is it does make it a little bit more of a pain to take your radio bezel and everything out. Yeah, pretty much just like that. Um, just going to drill the holes right there, kind of move it over here to the side so it's kind of a little more out of the way. If I could do it over here, it might be a little bit easier. Yeah, you can pretty much mount it anywhere on this little piece of plastic right here. As you see, it's just like a screw and a little locating pin. You just drill your two holes and hook it up right there. And you can run a, a double den, whatever CD player you want. It does not affect it. I said you lose a little bit of cubby space, but that's it. I think I'm going to put it right there this time because you can actually see the, I think with my old one, I kind of had it mounted like over here in the corner. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do it right here and you still get to your bolts for your or your screws for your CD player but yeah I'm gonna get this knocked out real quick get it all done and then I'll show y'all what it looks like and then I'm gonna finish putting the car together this is pretty much what I'm talking about as you can see you still got I mean it does take up cubby space but you still have plenty of room and you go up under here it's still above you know that's where your radio and everything will be right here so I didn't have a problem my other one with this right here I think because the radio kind of tilts back a little bit, so it clears it. So. Yep. That's pretty much it. I'm going to... I don't think I need to trim anymore. It's a little... Uh, it's a little... I'm not too happy with it, but it's in there. It's got plenty of space around. I don't think it's rubbing anywhere. Might need to trim some more back here. But it's like really close. So I don't think I'm going to worry about it though. I think it'll be fine. Yep, that's pretty much it. And I kind of flipped the screw around just because I didn't like the way it looked hanging down. So, yep, I'm gonna finish trimming everything up and uh, put the radio in, which I know you don't wanna see that, it's very boring. Put the radio in, put my the rest of my interior in and, and she'll be done. All right guys, I can't remember if I showed this or not. But I just wanted to show how I ran my hydro lines. Basically, like I said, I just followed the factory hard lines, and just zip tied it, and runs right back there with the factory hard line still. And I'm gonna crawl up in the car real quick. And, uh, so bear with me. Had to take this stuff, had to take this stuff loose. Cause it's, uh, uh, it's fitting right up here. It had like a small leak in it. it uh, loosened up. Oh man, I really need a lift. But line just, uh, geez, my bad. A little tease right there. Runs behind the heat shield. And it's like this little metal bracket there. I'm just going to zip tie it to that hard to the spring line to keep it off that little, the sharp metal edge. And it just runs back through there like that. And right there, just runs up, zip tied in a few places. And that's pretty much it. How's it going guys? We made it to the little drift spot. Got the Z out here. We're gonna try to hit it a few times. Um, I'm gonna set you up somewhere real quick uh, cause it's getting dark. Kinda took a little longer than we thought. But as you can see, it's a pretty big area. Um, it's kinda off the highway. So hopefully we will uh, not be interrupted, but hang on. It's 90 miles! <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. What is he? Huh? I didn't know you were saying that. I just got this one. I got tired of like waiting on... Oh, it's getting dark. This man literally bought 350 huh? 350Z. Huh? Getting out of the way so you don't get in trouble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
video right here um, sorry that the footage wasn't that good like I said we literally just showed up and I threw the camera out and just went out um, the tires I had just had like you know probably like 10% 20% tread lock maybe so I just set up real quick went out there uh, sliding around having fun trying to get a feel for the car and everything and I ended up popping my tires and stopped cut the camera off and in the middle of changing my tires the uh, cops showed up um, they weren't very happy with us <laughs> but they were really nice about it they basically just told us that we were idiots and that we should go home and not come back but yeah uh, so can't really can't really say anything bad about the cops are just doing their job and like so they were really nice they could have wrote us like a fat stack of tickets so it's very nice of them to cut us a break and I'm looking forward to getting some seat time in the Z at a event um, because the car actually worked really, really good, better than I expected, to be honest. Um, so I'm really enjoying the car right now. So, yep, I'll quit rambling, but I just uh, wanted to make some kind of little ending for this video because we got interrupted. So, <laughs> it happens, but we were polite, the cops were cool, so it worked out good. Um, so I hope you guys will subscribe and stick around. Um, we got an event coming up, me and a couple friends are gonna go to, so you should, you know, get some more footage of some reckless stuff. So, all right, guys. See you on the next one.